Good my name is Tara Nova, the Tara Nova Show. Well, hi, Tara Nova, Tara Nova Show. How are you? Right, and what brings you here tonight? So tonight, I am here to accept the award on behalf of my client, Russell Simmons. He is being presented with the Hip Hop Lifetime Achievement Award. So, I get to come here. Okay, great. Well, you have yourself a wonderful evening. Well, thank you so very much. We're getting to talk to you in the Capital Public Thank you. 
which was the party school. He gave parties every day. I think he was so never forget it. That's where I met Ricky Wells. Man, a chipper and a chipper and a and a chipper and a and a chipper 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 and a Listen to Earth. As a matter of fact, you know the, the call that is on WBLS spells out, we better listen to some thoughts. Nice. And we came up with that way back in the days. You know, he gave us all that uh, uh, one line that's like the boogie down. Hey guys, we have a new organization out there for you. It's called the Hip Hop Alliance. And we're fighting for fair royalties and fair wages and strong health and retirement benefits for all of our hip hop and RP community, y'all. So go to the website and join us. Hiphopalliance.org. Our chairman is Harris Long. And our president is Mr. Chuck D. I was like this. There's one reason. There's one reason why I want to be presenting represent, and he represents Flatbush, Brooklyn, New York. I mean, listen, it's like I got it made. I'm the magnificent, the mission. And one of my favorite records from the Brooklyn, from the Brooklyn soundtrack, Brooklyn, with Buckshot and Master Ace. This is the product of Flatbush, Brooklyn, New York. Once you guys to make some noise, Edward K. Archer, AKA Special Ed.
Dickens, D-Unit film, and, and, and production. I mean, the Power Universe is just crazy with the episodes and everything. This man is a brilliant genius. So it's only right that we present this award tonight to Curtis James Jackson III, AKA 50 Cent. But yeah, I know 50's on tour, but I'm a 50 and I've been with him 17 years. Um, 50 is grateful, he's thankful, he loves God, he loves people, and he loves money. Get <laughs> that picture, get that picture. Thank you, Mayor. Actually, this is going to happen. Oh, wow, thank you. And once again, this award is also presented to the, this big state legend pioneer right here. Y'all make some noise for DJ Robbie Rock. You know, so all praise to the most high God, because Rashid Lujan, 
And I'm gonna be short and sweet. It's a day for drill music that's taking a lot of our kids. And I know that hip hop started with ending the games, right? That's where the five elements come from. They bring a different form of family to make sure that in the 60s to the late 70s that these young people didn't have to lose their lives. So as we close the first 50 years of hip hop, we got another 50 years of hip hop and we want to make sure that these kids stop losing their lives, putting out the drill stuff in this music, and stop allowing the record that industry to employ our young kids. So I have a program called Plus for Grants. We offer full college scholarships to young people 16 to 24 to turn into legal firearms. Our partnership is with St. Francis downtown Brooklyn, and we also scholarships for young people that want to change the trajectory of their music. So we do something called honorable neighbors. So as long as you're not talking about shooting a homie, smoking on an ox, being in town, you angels, baby, then we allow to make it some free studio time. So it's a lot of work we're doing. You can find us at gunsforgrants.org or Instagram gunsforgrants. And lastly, this is the only program in the nation where young people can turn in a legal firearm, most guns, and go to a D1 college for free. We want to make sure grandma can celebrate that these kids can have an education opportunity. And shout out to the Fly Squad, because we have a whole new special of ABC News, and we feature some young people from that program. We all remain a chance for the next video. Peace and love. It is something that's truly amazing of how hip hop has uh, just been transformed into to this global phenomenon and how it's been embraced by all cultures across the country. Um, hip hop is not just um, the music with the four elements, it's a culture. Yeah. And it's a, a culture that's being raised. It's a culture that's being uh, revolutionized by a different generation. So we just want to reflect on some of the pioneers that paved the way and how they have um, just inspired so many people to, uh, to bring out the creativity out of them and, and, and to demonstrate hip hop in so many things. And tomorrow they're going to be a parade, right? Yeah, this is going to be a uh, great parade in Brooklyn in Harlem. Exactly. In Brooklyn tomorrow, and so we just encourage you guys to come and, and celebrate us, celebrate the four elements of hip hop, um, celebrate the uh, mental health awareness, uh, food insecurity, gun violence. Um, we want to use hip hop as a platform to speak out against those, those challenges in the community. So hip hop has always been um, uh, a voice of change, a voice of protest. Sure. We want to continue in that legacy. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. 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 The founder and the leader of Dipset. Yeah. Dipset. 
And now this dude just signed a multi-million dollar deal with his podcast, featuring MA Dollar Sign E. It's only right tonight that we present the award of recognition, the Cameron ECG Guys, aka Cameron. Well, simply not only to celebrate the 50th anniversary of hip hop, but I'm also hosting the event Tables, the keep you off the street, the corner. I 
Uh, you know, I'm from 222nd in Bronx with Portland. So, um, represent the whole New Park, 21 Park, the Valley. You know what I mean? I was there from the beginning with DJ Breakout, who ruined my life. Watching him in the 44 and Shaw Rock. Um, hearing, you know, the, the records playing, the great beats. And they were talking about one of the last. I knew they were all over the room, you know what I mean? So once again, I have this big man on the road to and I want to thank you for this award. And I will always represent the Boogie Down Bronx. The first thing is, how has hip hop influenced you over the last 50 years? Well, it's a different genre for my uh, generation, but I've come to really have great respect because the gentlemen who, and the ladies for that matter, I know you, I know who you do, do it, basically right. poets. Oh, and I like it. It's something totally different that had its genesis in the Bronx. That's where it started. And now it has become global. So it's incredible. Yes, it went viral. Yes, you did. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Enjoy the evening. Thank you. Likewise to you. All right. What brings you here tonight to the Hip Hop Awards? And so um, I want to thank Miss Irma Mitchell and Kim Melvin and yourself for inviting me here tonight. Okay. How has yes, hip hop influenced you over the last few years? Well, it's just the music and it's all, the, all kind of music, all music special, and then a nice art. Oh, all right. Well, I want you to say something. One question. I guess I can say, uh, shout out. So, I'll be in the to the seven years. So, I don't want to ask the first question. Uh, three, two, one. Hello, I'm a representative of the Mike Shakespeare Radio Talk Show. How do you feel about receiving your 50th anniversary? And there was over the years. And she's an excellent guest. Thank you. 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 Okay, God bless. Thank you, Lenore. Welcome to the Tower and Open Show on Mind Tuning Multimedia. And we're here speaking to the Chamber of Commerce. Can you say your, your name for me again? I'm Mark Sharp, I'm the CEO of the Radio Chamber of Commerce. Okay, welcome to our show. Um, can you tell me what brings you here to the hip hop? I'm a lifelong New York resident. I mean, my grandfather uh, grew up in the Boogie Down Bronx. We're 
celebrating 50 years of hip hop. It's an energy. It's a passion. As hip hop goes, so does all of New York. The Boogie Down Bronx, all the way up to Buffalo, and the world is watching. So I'm so proud that all these jobs, all these employees that are creating the action and putting people to work and inspiring the youth, it's a privilege to be there. Well, so how do you know King Melvin? King Mel I know King Melvin because <laughs> I run uh, the Greater New York Chamber of Commerce. The world's at our disposal. King Melvin's one of our 30,000 business leaders, entrepreneurs, obviously Global Biz Magazine. The world's watching us. And this, this young man and his whole team come to all our events, which are listed at chamber.nyc. So he is a proud uh, member of our great Appreciate you so much. I appreciate being here. Let's get on with the show. Have a wonderful evening, Mark. Thank you. I will. All right. Thank you. Give it up for 50 years of hip hop. You know, I'm all the way from the West Coast. You can call it the West Coast, but it's the West Coast. Give up the floor to God and the, uh, and, and the whole, you know, and, and just the, the ability to be here. I dropped my first single in 94, you know, with Lion Shirt Brown. We the first time I ever been issued rappers in the Billboard chart. It opened up the doors for a lot. But I've transitioned from 30 years where I was able to produce hip hop, produce Nas, Casey and Joe, and I all the eight motion picture soundtracks, one of my eyes for a movie called Crash. Mr. and Mrs. Smith did the theme song for the NBA and had the first African American animated music series on Netflix. And I turned my life over to Christ, met my man Ken Jones, you know what I mean, BBJ, he's here today. And uh, we were able to now take the culture and give it even more life. And that's the beauty about this situation here, to get the all praises to God. Come on, give it up for the next tonight, y'all. Must be Hi. So now we're going to go back to our next kind of reading, who was pioneering in his own right. And I'm going to give you a little brief history. Hallmark. Those that remember the legendary Hallmark World on 116 can remember this very infamous battle. That reigning champion MC at that time was the chief rock of Busy B. A young man came to the stage, grabbed the microphone, and uttered these words. Excuse me, Busy B, I don't mean to be bold, but put the bar in the ball, both on hold. Like I defeated him in the battle and, and raised the stakes with his name out of the streets. From the pioneering group with, with LA Sunshine and Special K. This man, pretty much, I call him the intellectual rapper. Very educated, profound albums like Knowledge is King, How You Like Me Now, It's Only Right in His Absence, and to his manager that's representing. We're presenting this citation tonight to one of the pioneer, pro prolific legends from the treacherous three. Mohandas Duisi, a.k.a. Cool Mo D. Some people know me as uh, Candid Daryl. That's my, my big friend. Oh, okay. 
So are you here to accept an award or are you here to cover the awards? I think I might be getting an award. I'm going to speak briefly, but I mean, it's such an honor to be out here and uh, actually give comments and salute to all the legends of hip hop. I mean, that's, that's why I'm here, primarily. Oh yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. But are you with any media company? Yeah, it's mine tuning, most of the media. Oh, okay. Group. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with uh, Kimo Brown. Well, that's my group. channel. <laughs> the guru himself. <laughs> yep. It's gonna blow up that multimedia mind tuning. <laughs> yeah, it sure will. Yeah, so so make sure you catch your interview on the Tara Nova show on Mind Tuning Multimedia. And we'll see you in the award show. Well it's a pleasure to meet you. Okay. Thank Bless you. you. Alright. Welcome to the Tara Nova show on Mind Tuning Multimedia. And tell me who are you and why are you here tonight? I'm Cindy Jordy. Uh, this is my husband, uh, Jerry Harry Bell. And we were invited by Kate Bell. Okay, so tell me, how has hip hop influenced you? Over the last 50 years. Okay, over the last 50 years. Uh, that age is new. But in any case, uh, it has really affected me. I remember the line of a lot of Chuck D, for the most part, and stuff like that, for the first, you know, it impacted me because they had a message with their message. Oh, yeah, how about you? How how's it with you? Oh, I Make me a medicine that's gonna kill this disease. 